Hello, and welcome to INST 615, Information Professionals and the Law. My name is Dr. Galliano. In this course, we have a start date of August 28th, and the course winds up on December 10th for a total of 15 weeks. Now, this course explores the interrelated issues of the provision and information literacy about legal information by primarily information-centric organizations and the impacts of legal issues, such as privacy and content filtering, on the practice of information organizations that serve the public. You will be immersed in the key roles played by community and government in the public awareness of access to and literacy about legal information. You will be investigating how the practices of information professionals and the functioning of information organizations are shaped by laws related to information, including privacy, security, copyright, and content filtering. You will explore both sets of issues and the places in which they intersect and influence one another as well as the educational preparation of legal information professionals in law schools and information schools. Now, upon completion of the course, you should be able to accomplish the next five things. Identifying relevant <clears throat> legal information resources and services used by members of the public. Discussing the roles of different types of institutions and information professionals in providing legal information to and promoting legal information literacy among members of the public. Analyzing the professional and ethical issues related to providing access to legal information. Identifying best practices related to the provision of legal information and analyzing key laws and policies related to access to legal information. Now, the course does not have a textbook. Rather, I have provided all required readings for you within each of the modules. Now, you'll be doing a fair amount of writing in this course, but one of the many things we must do well as information and cyber professionals is communicate. Uh, and so, don't shy away from the writing. Now, for assignments, as a brief overview, uh, you will be working on the following items. Uh, on September 24th, for a due date, I have an assignment for you called Searching for Legal Information, worth 10% of your overall grade. By October 1st, I have an assignment where you'll do a legal information presentation. By October 24th, an assignment where ethics of legal information practice, I call it a hypothetical, uh, will be due. Uh, and then with varying due dates throughout the course, you'll uh, author four short papers. Now, each one of the items I just talked about is worth 15% of your final grade. And then interspersed uh, throughout the 15 weeks, you'll have discussion topics in the modules. Now, INST 615 is formatted like any other course you've had at UMD. So without further ado, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. My contact information uh, is available in the course uh, and on the syllabus and will be in my welcome message to you. I do want you to understand that I am a practitioner, which means I have a day job. I work at United States Cyber Command at Fort Meade, where I am a detection engineer and a forensics analyst. What that means to you is that I don't have access to my phone during the daytime. I will be available after hours. That's usually around 4 p.m. until uh, bedtime and, of course, on the weekends. In the contact information you'll have for me is my Google Voice number. If you want to get a hold of me, please do call that number and please do leave a message and I'll return your call as soon as I uh, uh, get off of work. And I didn't mention it, but the reason is because uh, we don't have electronic devices uh, in a secure facility. So that's why I don't have access to my phone during the daytime. Okay, I do want to highlight one critical point about this course. 
This is an online asynchronous delivery course. That means you and I are likely not to meet in person. Uh, we may or may not have some uh, Zoom type sessions uh, over the course of the 15 weeks. I haven't decided yet. I'm kind of waiting to get feedback from the uh, class members. Uh, so, uh, knowing that it's online and asynchronous, there are some things you can do to be successful in the course. Number one is to actively participate. Number two, manage your time wisely. Number three, log into the course regularly. Number four, stay on the schedule. And perhaps most importantly, ask me for help when you need it. Now, if you need to reach out and communicate with me, uh, just as a quick overview, you can email me at g, I'm sorry, j g a l l i a n at umd.edu or use my Google Voice number 541-288-1300. I'm looking forward to the next 15 weeks with you. Uh, let's dig in and learn about the law and information systems, and uh, we'll be seeing each other in the course. Bye for now.